basically if you can go back and change things would you ha would have waited to get married i probably would have you were waited to get married yo what up youtube what's up y'all and what up our podcast listeners welcome to this episode and this episode is a good one but before we even get started i just want to tell you like every time we decide to talk or anything this is it's not something that we plan or write down or anything this is literally something that we just think about and we pretty much say hey let's talk about it you know um so we just want to be transparent and most of the time we don't even know what we want to say so right. this topic right here is a good one did we move too fast in our relationship if you look at everything and how we got started we got married and i was in college i was in north carolina you was in georgia hartwell you guys at home? Hartwell, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, I was in college. I didn't have no place to, I didn't have no money either. With that being said, do you think we move too fast in our relationship? Your per like your honest personal opinion. I don't think we move too fast because it's not based on what you have. But concerning what you know what people say far as okay yeah, like the man in the house say, the man need yeah. to be financial, uh, stable. financial stable even the bible say that though right you know so so in other words uh based on what people say it we should have waited until you had a fat bank account not a fat bank account but basically stable able to provide for the family or had some type of um what what, what amount would you say is providable a hundred dollars in the bank account five hundred dollars in the bank account i would say it's no certain amount i believe it's based upon so for example like daniel i would tell him as a father okay you know you're going to get married so here's what you need to be preparing for. This is our rule for you to wait till after college and, you know, get a job and know for sure that you can provide mm -hmm. for your family. Right. You know, then, you know, get married, you know. So that's why I say, do you think that we waited or that we got into the relationship too fast or did we get married too fast? No. I don't no. think so. No. No, because for one, we had two minds that were thinking alike, knowing that whatever comes our way, we're going to be able to take it on. Like, I, I don't think that our relationship was based on financial. Right. It couldn't be. Things. <laughs> it, it wasn't at all. Yeah. I think it was mostly based off of the feelings we had for one another. Right. And we immediately made goals together. We made plans together. Like, it's not like we both broke and we're going to be broke. We ain't got no plans. Let's get married so we can be together all the time. No, let's get married and we, let's do this. I was doing photography. You was doing your thing with uh, the music, music, music yeah. at the time. Right. And um, we made plans to come up together and we came up together. Yeah. Uh, financially, we we didn't say, you know, like we weren't broke, but we didn't have no, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I was working, I was working at school in the cafeteria, but I wasn't making a lot of money. And you were making money um, doing music. Yeah, I was. Drums. I was. And I, I I was working. If we got, if I had enough money to drive back and forth to North Carolina <laughs> to put in my gas tank, I got enough money. To <laughs> 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 to be in the relationship <laughs> yeah because i spent a lot of gas money and you did too yeah yeah back and forth yes a lot <laughs> so um yeah i don't think we moved too fast so um in the beginning they said that you know y'all maybe y'all should just wait y'all should just wait 
But, I mean, we beat the odds. Most people are in our situation. And some people... You ain't had a, a fan that many times, though. It was a bug. It was gone the first well, fan. No. The first time you flopped your hand up, it flew that <laughs> way. It was that. But anyway. It's extra, man. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, a lot of people are in our situation, and it's good to talk about this. When you read Proverbs and they talk about wisdom and they talk about knowledge mm-hmm. and understanding, it will pretty much be like common sense say that, hey, as a man, you need to make sure you got these things situated before you get married. And mm-hmm. as a man, personally, you will want that. I will want that. Yeah. You know, and honestly, I look back on it. If I'm if that was me. Basically, if you can go back and change things, would you ha- would have waited to get married? I probably would have. You would waited to get married. In that in that situation, like like I told, I don't regret it though. I, I mean, don't. I don't know. I don't think you regret it. I, I don't regret it. Like I, I love, back, I, I love, I love our relationship. I love our marriage. But if I can go like, back, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it either. I wouldn't wait either. But okay, so what would you tell Daniel, and what would you tell Eden? Of course, it's it's as a parent you want, you would want to say, wait till you're financially stable, wait till you get your ducks in a row to get married. But what if he meets someone like me and you? When we met, it was literally love at first sight. Yeah. So if Daniel meets a woman that he know that he know that he knows, or Eden meets a man that she knows that she knows you know this is my husband, this is my wife, this is it, mom. Look, um, I really. No, this is the one. I'm gonna say, go for it, son. Mm-hmm. Go for it. We're gonna do what we can to help make this happen. Yeah, that's good. And I could, and I be because I'm gonna be that parent. I'm, we're gonna be those parents that trust our kids' decision and allow them to make their own decisions. Mm-hmm. And the way we're raising them, we would know that their decision is a good decision. Mm-hmm. We know that Daniel or Eden aren't going to just go out and find a girl and fall in love. And she the one. She, You know, it, it it's based off how we're raising them. So our parents trusted us enough to say, do it. Yeah. Get married. They knew that we were getting married and they were all for it. They were supporting us 100 percent. Like. They backed us up. Yeah, and I would do the same for my son and daughter because I would trust their decision. And look at us now. Yeah, look at yeah, yeah. No, I know we may not have the the the, the big glamorous life yet, but I mean, still in love, I yeah. still do. This is why I said I never regret it. But as a man, I get that. You get what I'm saying? I get that, and I guess that's based off the person. Like, why do you love her? Why right. do you want to marry her? Or why do you love him? Why do you want to marry? What do you feel like he has to offer? Or what do you feel she has to offer? Like, you know, um, it can't just be based off of sex. All right. It can't just be ba- based off of money because you can, a, a girl, a woman can find a man that has the fat bank account, the house, the car, looks like he got it all together, but is he husband material? No. Mm. So it can't be based off what they have. Right. Right. It can't. You're right about that. It is it has to be real love. Not lust, but love. Yeah. Do you think we had some type of lust in the No. In, no. In, no. No, because I knew the dis- difference between lust and love. So I, what's the difference? I think the difference is love is unconditional and lust is conditional. I I, I have had both. Mm-hmm. With you, it was unconditional. I ain't care how bad your breath smell. <laughs> I ain't care what you look like, how rough. I didn't. It didn't. Ooh. I mean, and I have been in some relationship where situation like, I ain't even trying to see you today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I know the difference. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, how, what, what's lust and love to you? I agree. Love is unconditional mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. love is there when there when just through thick and thin like 
Mm-hmm. No matter what. No matter what it is. No matter how your bank account look. Yeah. And days when you couldn't buy me a hamburger, and I was provider, it, it didn't turn me off not one bit. I loved you. Mhm. That's true agape love. Yeah. Agape. Agape. Yeah. True agape is our church. <laughs> <laughs> Say that true agape you got love. Christian Center. Yeah. Nah, on. But agape love. But yeah. But lust. When you think of when I think of lust, I think of sexual desires. Mm-hmm. That's what I think about lust. Mm-hmm. So, it's primarily sexual desires. So sexual yeah. desires is basically sh- short term. It's, because it's definitely short term. You have sex. You have sex and you enjoy the moment, but after that that's it that's it it's nothing there like yeah it's nothing there and it feels just like love yeah right it feels just like love but it's not you know and that's one of the reason why that's one of the reason why i believe the bible tells us not to have sex before marriage Mm -hmm. because it brings that and and because the two is so similar and it feels almost the same right because your emotions are involved with in in, with both of them Mm -hmm. and so it's hard to identify the two especially if you never had love right that's why it's best to wait to wait yeah so i got another question which i believe is a really good question when people are dating they don't like some of the characteristics they don't like Mm -hmm. some of the things that the person um do or whatever Mm -hmm. should that affect you marrying this person or saying hey i really think that i like this person Mm -hmm. and want to be with this person what do you think that's a good question it is i i don't think it should affect whether you should marry the person or not because there's a lot of things that you did that i didn't like but it wasn't enough to say nah i don't want to be with him it's it's just it was Mm -hmm. how you did things and we're different like you're not gonna do everything the way i think you should do it and that's okay and that comes with growing together yeah yeah that comes with growing together um you know that i do this a certain way and i know you do that a certain way that that's because you're your own person you are an an individual right so when is the okay that's not he's not the one you get what I'm saying? When is mm-hmm. that then? Like, I think for me, for me, one of the one of the red flags is inconsistency. Mm-hmm. If, if he's not consistent in the beginning. And what is that? That I, I think. And this is a, a small example. If y'all are texting y'all in a conversation and. You text him, you know, just y'all are, y'all are just talking about something random, mm-hmm. anyways. And he, hours go by, hours go back, and then he finally texts back and just jump back, right back into the conversation. It's just like almost like leaving you hanging type thing. Mm-hmm. I, that I don't know, like that just shows that I know you got your phone. You couldn't say, "Hey, I'm doing such and such. Let me hit you back." Just jump. It just almost make you fi- feel like suspicious about a person. Like what? You know what he got going on I guess a uh, small example but inconsistency is like a red flag because I think if you really care for someone that should be consistency and communication I think that's what I'm trying to tie that into like communication like if I'm not able to talk I'm letting you know hey I can't talk right now let me call you back or just letting you call me and 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 finally answer like you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I think that's that's a big thing for me like even now that we're married. Yeah. If you're going to be out later than you said, let me know. Just let me know. So me being, so what about me being not as, uh, I want spiritual or not really, yeah, not as spiritual as you in the beginning. Because remember, when we first started talking, mm-hmm. you know, you was, you really had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I still do. Yeah, you still do. Yeah, <laughs> you do. But, well, you said it. It's just that now, you know, I'm, I'm a wife and a mom now. No, I, I wasn't saying it I that know, way. it's just the way it sounded. Yeah, like. right. It, yeah, but I'm saying in the beginning, you really had a personal relationship. Yeah. And you still do. But when I was 
you in the beginning. I wasn't as, really, I didn't really understand what having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ really mean. I mean, because I did have, I had, I did have a re- relationship because I received Jesus Christ um, as my Lord and Savior before I met you, you know, but my, rela- I really didn't have that relationship like you had. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So some of the things that I still was doing was, wasn't, you know, wasn't I, what I call what I really need to do as a Christian, mm-hmm. if that made sense. Yeah, and that didn't bother me either because uh, while you were talking about it, I seen myself as like it wasn't me thinking I knew more than you. It was more like me turning back and reaching my hand to you and helping you to the place I was at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like I, I reached back and, and took your hand to – you know, to catch up with me. Mm-hmm. Like, I never wanted to feel or wanted you to feel like, you know, I'm more spiritual than you. Right. No, you can be where I'm at. That's good. That's good. So, for all the single people out there, or if you're married and have single friends yes. or whatever, share this video. Um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button yes. so you can just get updates. And is that it? That's it. I feel like it was short, but I think we stopped in some good information. And if you guys have some topics that you guys want us to talk about, have questions, right? put them in the link below. Put them in the comment box. Right. Um, all right. So that's it. We out. Deuce. Deuce.